I found him in the bathroom and he was unconscious. And yes, that scared me and it was traumatizing. And I still sit there and think about it almost every day. What did you see? What made you want to do that? I see a lot of potential in him. I knew that he was going down the wrong road mm -hmm. and I wanted to help him. It was love at first sight when we first met. Okay, it's let's not first give sight, her all these kudos because you know something? Shame on you. <laughs> We're throwing in his face. Why don't you go back and do drugs? I know. That is the last thing you ever say to an addict. That is true. Because true. you be careful what you ask for. Yep. He just might go back. And then where would you be with these kids? Exactly. Hey, I, I don't understand. You. So you don't want to be left alone, but yet you do the very one thing that is going to end up leaving you alone, which is pushing and pushing, 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 pushing his buttons because that's the way you get attention. I I, you don't find another way to be able to talk to him instead of pushing his buttons and hitting below the belt with comments like that? No, um, I feel like it's the heat of the moment and I just say whatever just comes out of Because she, she knows mouth. it's such a sensitive topic to me. She knows that when she That's says it, your it, yeah. It, yeah, it stabs deep when she says nasty it's things It's not like just that. arguing. You guys yell so loudly that the police have been called. Yes. yes. So, I mean, these are like really, you know, going at each other, screaming, yelling, and you've even like punched a hole in the wall. Yeah. What right, made you do that, Chris? <sighs> when she starts to bring up the nasty insults, like we, we, we'll be having a fight about something, say the chores. And, you know, out of nowhere, just back and forth about chores, she'll throw up, like, oh, well, why don't you go overdose? And that hurts. Hey, so I would, look, hey, really? Really? Turn around really? and punch the wall. A lot of the times when we fight or try to communicate, she only sees my past as the drug use, which was my rough spot. But the 20 years before that, I had a great life. Why do you go so low with, with, with that, with that, you know? Because Why don't you go OD? It's always gonna sit in the back of my head that he's gonna go back to doing the drugs. I, it was well, mentally, fortune. emotionally, and physically draining getting him to where he is today. I found him in the bathroom and he was unconscious, and yes, that scared me, and it was traumatizing, and I still sit there and think about it almost every day. So when you get mad at him, that's the picture that comes to your mind that you throw in his face? It's not even about that. It's just like the heat of the moment of me just that saying just... it. But he doesn't say nice things to me neither. What he tells he me to go to you? get beat by my ex-boyfriend again. Chris, is that true? Yeah, she always, always is like, we'll be arguing and she'll be like, oh, what are you gonna do, hit me or say things like that? And never once have I laid a hand on her. Nobody has raised a fist up and to me. I was absolutely horrified by it. It's the story that shocked the country. I'm talking about actor Jesse Smollett, first reported as a hate crime, then a hoax. Now, our body language expert breaks him down. What do you see there? There were several things there that bothered me. I've never known him to be a deceptive person. Then, when white lies turn wicked. Oh, I've done it before. I just created this whole movie, and I suffered the consequences. It's time to face the truth.